What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? I had this whole awesome, like, we were going to go on an adventure and take photos and talk about presets for fall 2019, and I was going to give them to you guys, but then I got this email, and quite frankly, I don't know what to do. Hopefully, you guys can help me. It's very scary, and I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do here. I got an email from first name, save, last name, yourself. Weird name to start, but okay. Save yourself 20 at 7448.com. Good start. The subject of the email, you better pay. I know your password is hockey129. Right there, they got me. That is definitely my password, and they guessed it correctly. That's how you know I'm in trouble from the start. I don't even know what the email's about yet. Your computer was infected with my malware. Your browser wasn't updated slash patched. In such case, it's enough to just visit some website where my iframe is placed to get automatically infected. If you want to find out more, Google drive-by exploit. <sighs> I might Google that later because I think I want to find out more, but let's see what these guys are up to. My malware gave me full access and control over your computer, meaning I got access to all your accounts, see password above, and I can see everything on your screen. Turn on your camera or microphone and you won't even notice about it. That's right, he, that's what they said. You won't even notice about it. So, based on the grammar alone, you can tell this is a very serious, very professional email, and definitely not a scam. They've got access to all my passwords because hockey129 is the password for all of my accounts, everything. And they just happen to know that. I collected your private data and I recorded you through your webcam in brackets, obviously, because how else would they record me? They don't have a 1DX that they just set up in my house. Satisfying yourself. <laughs> what? Oh. After that, I removed all my malware not to leave any traces. So at least whoever's recording me satisfying myself is doing their job properly. They just got rid of all their malware. We're dealing with a real professional here and I'm not even upset they did such a good job of recording me satisfying myself and then removing all the malware so nobody would notice. Can't, how can I be mad? I, hopefully they don't have any demands coming up that I have to succumb to. Oh no. I can send the video to all your contacts, post it on social network, publish it on the whole web, including the dark net. Oh, I haven't even been on the dark net and this is the first impression people are gonna get of me? Come on, where the sick people are. I didn't know that's how it worked, but okay. I can publish all found on your computer everywhere. Joke's on that guy because everything on my computer is already published on YouTube, so <laughs> good luck. Only I can help you in this situation. Seems like a good salesman. Transfer exactly $800 with the current Bitcoin price to my Bitcoin address. It's a very good <laughs> It's a very good offer. I love how <laughs> this person had to include that it's a very good offer. Like maybe I could go elsewhere and get the same deal for like 400 bucks. I don't know. I don't know what the going rate for blackmail is. So I guess $800 is a very good offer compared to all the horrible shit that will happen if I publish everything. First of all, you don't need to swear. And you're gonna come in here and tell me that a bunch of horrible is gonna happen if I don't pay you. My Bitcoin address is 194IIZB. It's making it too difficult. Copy and paste it. It is case sensitive. They wrote case sensitive? Case sensitively. C A S E S E N S I. I know what case sensitive is, man. You got videos of me doing crazy stuff and you don't think that I know what case sensitive is? Come on. As I got access to this email account, I will know if this email has already been read. Oh my God. After receiving the payment, I will remove everything and you can live your life in peace like before. I've seen enough movies with blackmail in them to know that once I pay this guy, he's not gonna remove it. <laughs> he leaves it with like a nice little tidbit of information. Next time, Update your browser before browsing the internet. If you ever receive an email like this, just ignore it. What's the worst that can happen? Now that I've experienced such a crisis, there's obviously only one solution. Delete the email and go with the video as planned.
Okay. So here's the game plan for today. We're gonna go out, take some shots. There's a really cool path, parkway, close to my house. Take some cool landscape shots, nothing crazy. It'll give me a perfect excuse, perfect example for some presets that I wanna give to you guys. And I'll show you the pictures and then I will include the presets down below so you can start using them. But before we go, it's Canada. And when you live in Canada, you have to get used to cold weather, warm weather. Take advantage of the warm weather while it lasts. It is so beautiful out, and I'm, it might only be this nice for like four days before it starts snowing. So I'm taking everything off my Jeep, and we're going to go for a cruise. Let's go. Almost there. No matter how many times I do this, it's always one door that gives me problems. All done, let's go for a ride. All right, so we just pulled up to the park. It's a great day outside. Just got the camera and the tripod. I'm gonna relax, take some photos. Isn't that what photography's all about? Let's go. One thing I really love about like good presets, and I'm not saying mine are good, you might not even like them. You might hate them, that's your preference. One thing I love about good presets is that you can take a really mundane, ordinary picture, it could be of nothing, just a little pathway like I'm taking photos of today, and make it look really cool. Like the right color grading and light balancing and contrast makes like amazing pictures out of nothing at all. Something that I think you guys should actually even just try out. I'm gonna link my presets down below. I think you should just go out one day like I am today, take pictures of whatever it may be, your street, a pathway, the park that's by your house, whatever it is, and see if you can make them into some dope shots just using the presets and fine tuning them to your liking. Let's keep moving. All right, so I stopped up at this little like junction area. I don't know, it's like a little sitting spot. I think it's a cool spot to take a photo because like, I don't know, it's got like the leading lines of the path. I'll probably Photoshop out that signage, but adding a nice little preset to it might make for a really cool photo. All right, so further down the walk, there's this sweet like pathway with the railing on the one side, the trees canopying over. Great shot, A, for composition. You've got the leading lines, you've got some nice shadows and highlights. Also, that's what makes it a great shot to test Lightroom presets on. So if you have presets from your favorite photographer or you wanna try out mine and test it out, a photo like this where you've got a good mix of light and dark to see how the LUT reacts to both is excellent for testing it out. Might not work, might not be perfect, but then you'll know going forward what needs to adjust. Like I've used a lot of presets before where if it's a really bright picture, it looks terrible. Like some presets are designed for dark, some presets are designed for light, and then require a lot of tweaking otherwise. But in this case, great like test photo. So I'm gonna snap some shots and then we're gonna flash them on the screen and then apply some presets and see what it looks like. Huh? Good idea? Yes? No? Well, it's happening anyway. Now, Another thing I like to do when I'm shooting, I like to shoot a little bit wider than what I'm envisioning. So let's say I've got my picture framed out nicely, you've got your leading lines, whatever you want in the photo. I like to widen out my field of view just a little bit more so that I can crop in a tiny bit if needed. The reason is that if you think you've nailed the framing in the shot itself and then you go back to edit it later and you might have cropped too far in, you might not like it, you don't have that leeway, that room to play with. So there's a bridge right on the other side of the camera. I'm gonna flip it around and I'm gonna show you guys the bridge and then I'm gonna take the picture the way I would take it and show you guys how I'm cropping in. All right, so here's the bridge. As you can see, like great leading lines. You've got the canopy of trees over. Ow! Just got bit by a mosquito. It's a great shot, great composition. I'm gonna show you some photos now, but I'll show you how I'm zoomed out and then I crop in to get the photo that I want. All right, so this trail is just full of amazing leading lines, which now that I think about it and say it out loud, that's 
all a trail is, it's just leading lines through a forest. Point is, we've got another awesome backdrop, but to me this backdrop is a little less interesting, like it's very uniform with trees on the right side, you know, the fence on the left, nothing really breaks it up. So this is actually where it'd be really cool to have a model or a friend or somebody come with you and shoot with you in a situation like this. They could model for you standing right down the path but I'm completely alone today, so I'm gonna set the camera to timer and see if I can't position myself in the frame and try and get a cool photo out of it. This is how it turns out. All right, pretty happy with the shot. I like the way like the path and like the, see that like dark spot at the back? It kind of frames me in the photo, which is awesome, but we're getting a little bit away from the car. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes in the middle of the day, and I'm excited to show you guys these new presets. So, let's head back. Sometimes it's really hard to take yourself seriously when you're alone in a forest and trying to do a cool slow motion walk in 120 frames a second. What am I doing? Let's just get back to the car and look at these presets. Jesus, Daniel. And we're back. Let's go send $800 to a scammer. I mean, let's go look at some presets. I need this. And we are back. Let's take a look at some of these presets. Now, before I get into them, when I make presets, I take what I see from other people and I kind of adapt it to the issues that I have myself. So I notice a lot of people's presets that they sell or that they promote, they look great when they advertise them, but they don't work properly when you get them. The reason being, in my opinion, is because they will edit a photo using that preset and it looks great on that photo, but doesn't work across everything. Part of the reason that happens is because they'll edit the basic adjustments. So let's say they shot the photo very dark, something that I tend to do normally. They would edit that photo so that the exposure, whites, highlights, shadows are all adjusted to be nice, and then they'll add all their presets, change the color, stuff like that. When you go to add that to your photo, let's say your photo's perfectly exposed and they shot dark, it's gonna blow out all your highlights, it's gonna bring up all your shadows, it's gonna ruin it. So what I did with my presets is I left those basic adjustments alone. What you're gonna do is apply the preset and then you'll say, oh, it's too dark, it's too light, it's too contrasty. Then you have that freedom to adjust it based on how you shot the picture. Now let's look at the presets. All right, so we're gonna use this picture of this stud walking through the forest. It's a good looking dude. It's a little bit dark to begin with. So the first thing we're gonna do is, from my perspective, adjust the settings that I want, and then we'll go through what the presets look like. Alrighty, first preset we got here is barn. So what barn is, is it kind of desaturates everything except the warm tones. Again, fall preset pack, you wanna accentuate the golden leaves, the thing, but you don't want that super green spring feel to it. So I've desaturated everything except the yellows, blues, pinks, magentas, it's all down. There's still a bit of color in it, but the yellows, the reds, the warm colors are the focus of the picture. Next preset is copper. This one has more of that like warm, fall feel to it like it's like fall it's progressing it's getting cooler we want to keep the photos warm a bit so all your yellows and reds are are warmer there's still saturation there's still got the greens and the colors you got a bit of an orange and teal feel to it as well i think it can work really nicely on some photos which brings me to another point not every preset is designed for every photo it's not going to work on every picture you have, it's not going to work on a landscape for some or a architectural shot for another. You got to play with it. You got to, you know, oh, this is a good foundation of where I want to go. So from here, we'll make some adjustments. Next one up is fern. I really like fern because it has a desaturated kind of cool look to it. And what it is, is those muted, darker, softer greens, just a different variation. If everything's going warm, Maybe have like a little option to go a little bit cool, a little bit more green on the green side. So, threw fern in there. I like it, maybe you like it too. 
Now I said earlier that we didn't touch the basic adjustments. With this preset quick start, it's just a little jump off point. Maybe your photo's looking a little bit flat or you know you, you want something to adjust the basic adjustments off the bat and maybe give you somewhere to, to work off of. This one doesn't play with the colors of your photo at all. It just plays with those basic adjustments, adds a bit of a tone curve, adds a little bit of sharpening, some vignetting. Just, it's very subtle, but it'll push that photo along for you. Just give you a little quick start. Oh my God, that's where the name came from. Genius. All right, the next one is retro. Now, admittedly, and this is what I was talking about earlier, I'll be the first person to admit it. Not every preset looks good on every photo. For this photo of me walking through the forest, I don't really like the way the retro look feels. So this might be better suited for portraits or brighter photos where you know, you're know you working on like a concrete cement background and it just seems kind of dull and emotionless. So you apply that retro, it'll give you that warm, like old school, like 80s vibes to it. Not a great example with this picture. Come on, Daniel, just be better. Got it on my own hat. I gotta just be better with the pictures I'm showing you guys. The reason I'm showing you guys these pictures is because everybody wants to sell you on how perfect their presets are for everything. It's not the case. Perfect example. Doesn't work on every photo. And finally, we've got Rust. Rust is probably my favorite in the preset pack. It has a nice contrast to it, some nice colors, orange and teal vibes. It's warm, but it's cool. I don't know, there's just so much going on. Something about it that I just, I love the way it looks. It's contrasty, it just takes your flat photo and just punches you in the face. So this one's probably my favorite. I would love to know which ones you guys like down in the comments below. And here's what I'm doing for these presets. They're on my site, shop.dmcreative.ca, under the presets tab. It's gonna be the only one there for now fall presets they are completely free to you guys but how I'm gonna set it up is a donation based thing if you wanna pay one dollar two dollars five dollars pay whatever you want you want them for free take them I don't care if you wanna make a small donation so that I can keep making these and making videos for you guys I would love that so check out shop.dmcreative.ca check out the new presets if you like them let me know download them they're all yours I hope you guys use them, I hope you guys love them, and subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe. If you don't subscribe, you won't know when the next winter and future presets come out. Let me know what you think, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Love ya!